I, I cannot actually believe that a Democrat has been found threatening Republicans. Isn't that crazy? Democrats are always so nice. They leave our yard signs alone. I mean, they don't call us uh, racists. They don't do anything that's like nasty. They don't insinuate that you know our hearts are black and our souls are you know bound for the pit of hell because we think that babies should not be murdered. Like, I mean, Democrats are just such sweet, nice, caring people. How could this have happened? So first, I will let uh, Cynthia Johnson um, speak for herself. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do it right. Be in order. Make them pay. All right, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Now, to be a little bit fairer to uh, Miss Johnson than a lot of outlets have been, uh, <clears throat> she did preface that, I believe, by saying, hit them in their pocketbooks. Um, but, you know, soldiers don't hit people in their pocketbooks. They hit people with bullets. Soldiers, the, the very word is a threat. If you are referring to your constituents as soldiers, that is not something that a polite society should allow. I don't care if it's social soldiers or whatever kind of soldiers. You're militarizing your constituents that is not okay from a from a sitting U.S. representative. It's just not. Now I know I flirt a little with you know the edges of well, how far can we threaten our government? You know, but this this just this kind of blatant. Like if I was in an elected office, I would never ever ever threaten somebody from the opposite party. And you can be sure that I will be doing everything in my power to get this woman primaried, to get her seat taken away. She, This woman does not belong in politics. So um, the Detroit Free Press won't, you know, won't talk about that. You know, they'll, they'll defend the ever-loving poop out of her. They'll say, oh, she was misquoted. She was saying this. She was saying that. You know, Governor Whitmer will come out and defend her, which, you know, I'm going to use <laughs> against her as well when she's running for re-election, but uh, that's 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 where we're at. That's where this fight is going. So we have got to get rid of Democrats in this state. Uh, we've got to clean our state up first before we clean up the entire country. 